This is an old toolbox that I found last year when I was doing a cosmetic renovation on a house. It's a classic design that you may have seen all over the internet. It's probably 65 to 70 years old or older. I believe that after World War II, the fellows would take some wood, sometimes scrap wood, slap these things together, load them with tools, and off to work they went. It is still in use after all of this time. This intrigued me and one thing I found was the fact that when you're looking for tools in this toolbox it's not very well organized. So I decided to do something about it. Especially what frustrated me was looking for a pencil. So what I did was I drilled a hole in the side of this toolbox where I could insert the pencil and always have it at hand. Then I decided to improve upon this design and this is what I came up with. The improvements I made were by first drilling holes right over here where I could put screwdrivers in there to keep them organized. Then I drilled a series of holes here in order to put bits to keep those organized. And then I put in a plastic tray here for all the little screws and extra bits and parts that you may need. And on the side I used two Lumex connectors where I could install standard or slot screwdrivers. Let me show you how I load my toolbox now and keep it organized. This is the contents of my toolbox. First, safety equipment. I have some working gloves, knee pads, and safety glasses. I've got a shop rag to clean things up, some tape, masking tape. I've got a hammer, a level, I've got a crescent wrench, adjustable wrench, a utility knife. Now this utility knife is from my dad. It's a Stanley. It's probably more than seven years old. I've got a razor blade scraper here, a regular scraper, some scissors, always handy to have scissors in your toolbox. I've got a flashlight right here. I've got some vice grips, very important. These are some pliers, electrical pliers, very robust. Some snippers for snipping things needle nose pliers, always very handy. I've got an old pill bottle full of all sorts of bits and screws and nails and little things that I may need to attach things. I've got a uh, measuring tape for good measure and a ruler made out of metal, which is also very handy. Now for the screwdrivers, I have a number one Phillips screwdriver, the most popular size. I have a number two Phillips screwdriver. I've got a number one Robertson screwdriver and a number two Robertson screwdriver. I have a little mini screwdriver here. On this side, I've got a regular standard or slot screwdriver, quarter inch, and a smaller one, a three eighths inch slot screwdriver. I've got this screwdriver I bought at the dollar store with all of these different bits, various bits, and as you see, the bits slide in here perfectly for ease of use. I've got a Sharpie for marking things. 
a pair of extra rubber gloves. I've got a pick. This is very good for when you drill holes. You pick it first, keep your drill bits aligned. And an Allen key. I just have this one. This is the most popular size when you're assembling that IKEA furniture. Just some odds and ends here. Electrical tester. Another electrical tester right here. I've got some aluminum tape for plumbing. Some regular black tape for electrical, some steel wool, I've got a uh, pencil sharpener, and I have an extra pencil where I can easily find it, and as you see in the tray here, all sorts of different screws and so on and so forth, all right, easy to find, and on the side here, two types of uh, sandpaper, and that's basically it, I'm able to go around the house with this one toolbox and fix most small problems. Okay, to finish this video off, I just want to tell you that because I'm stuck in the house with this coronavirus everywhere, I've decided to make a few of these toolboxes for my family and friends. Have a look what I've done so far. In a future video, I would like to show you what I did to make these. Here's my toolbox here. I've even managed to put a little logo on there. I'll show you how I did that also. Bye for now. See you on the next video.